Hi everyone. So, um, sorry for my voice. It's still a little bit off. Um, but I feel like I can go back to making videos and not have a coughing attack every two um, minutes. So, there are quite a few videos that I have in mind that I want to make and um, share with you. And one of them is... Um, how I created my Daniel Smith palette. So I would probably go as far as saying that Daniel Smith are my favorite watercolors. Um, I do have a few which I really love but if I really 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 have to pick just one it would have to be Daniel Smith. It's something about a combination of vibrancy yet um, I don't know a, a, an organic structure of the paints that gives them that earthy kind of feel and um, as they are quite expensive I have decided to um, just buy the colors because I have quite a few palettes I have um, a big Mijello palette I now also have Schmincke and I have the um, Nevska Palitra to most of you known as St. Petersburg White Nights. So I have all of those which cover um, most of the classic colors. But I thought with Daniel Smith I will just go and purchase the colors that are quite unique and that I absolutely love. So I'm not going to go and follow the classic uh, way of of putting a watercolor um, palette together. So having said that, mostly I do fashion and floral illustrations. So both of them I need color for. So I love um, vibrancy. And um, so that's, that's what my um, Daniel Smith palette is all about. So I have um, made a video which I think I might insert in the end or before this. I haven't um, um, haven't picked my mind yet, but basically I have made a short video of how I was filling up um, these half pens. So first of all, I have gone ahead and ordered this lovely. Um, Jackson's art um, palette from Amazon and if I compare it to my Schmincke palette you can see that they're very similar they're identical in size they're identical in weight and um, they have sort of the same concept of four wells and then the um, Schmincke wells are Unfortunately, they don't hold up. They kind of lay, lay flat. This is a um, student grade um, palette. This isn't hard them. So, um, yeah, so it lays flat and it has a lot of these wells. In the uh, Jackson's Art, it stands up like that. And um, it has five wells in here. So that's the only difference. And then... Um, this one lays flat, this one is at an angle, so um, the um, paint's facing that way, so that's at a slight angle. And the other thing is both of them are removable. So if you wanted to know how that compares to Schmincke, that's what it is. So it came empty, it came without the um, pans, so then I went on Jackson's Art and ordered the two packs of 12 half pans and you know arrange them this way so that's that let me just put my Schmincke palette away and um, <clears throat> so at the moment I have um, all my yellows reds pinks oranges greens blues grays and even a neutral arrange. So I left this one here 
for a color that I have ordered. I'm uh, waiting for it to arrive. It's the, let me just pull it out quickly. I think it's the Shadow Violet, but let me just double check. Yeah, it's the Shadow Violet, so that's the color I'm looking for um, receiving. Um, I will go through all the colors in a minute. So this gold is not Daniel Smith. This gold is a Schminke Horadam, which I have ordered on Amazon separately as this little tube. I don't know if I said or not, but all of my Daniel Smith are 5ml tubes and um, I just, I think for me it's enough. I don't want to go as far as spending all this money on the 15ml tubes, although it ends up cheaper if you buy the 15 mils, um, but, you know, <clears throat> in the beginning you pay a lot of money for it, so for me it's easier to buy two or three colours in one go rather than just one colour and then wait. <laughs> so, um, the um, a lot of people keep complaining about their Schmincke palettes and um, I think this could be the same here that the pants don't stay in. I think it's because of how they're arranging them. So before you put the pan in, make sure you um, kind of fold this metal bit that sticks out, fold it a little bit forward and then just kind of clip it in. It will stay in the palette. It won't be going anywhere. Um, it's just because there's too much space between and they tend to move around. I don't like my paints moving around. I like them to be nicely, um, firmly sitting in their um, spaces. So, let's go ahead and I will explain a little bit how I created this palette. First of all, the very useful thing was um, for me to order this color um, color card, color dot card um, from uh, Jackson's Art as well. So it comes in, I have featured this before in my other video but I just will quickly um, show for those who haven't seen it. So it comes with four sheets. I'm not going to go into detail about it because I have done a separate video like I said but basically it's super helpful if you don't want, if you want to um, experience all 238 colors from the entire range uh, minus the new colors that came out just recently um, so if you want to experience them without you know breaking the bank and going and buying random colors um, and then not perhaps loving them you know this way it allows you to really pick your favorite yellows your favorite reds, pinks, whatever. And then the other thing as well, you know, you have, once you pick your base colors, so the yellows, oranges, reds, and pinks, you then can create a variation, a broader spectrum of pinks, for example, and you can really make sure that the pinks you order, that they don't look similar. For example, um, I was considering, you know, I, um, I had to take a long time to pick between the Gwynecrodon pink and rose because I think they both are beautiful, but I find there is a lot of similarity between Alizarin Crimson and this colour, which this, the Alizarin Crimson I already have, so I didn't want to have something just a, a touch different, you know. So. From that point of view, it's it's very, very convenient. So I would highly recommend to do that with any brand that you're thinking of creating your own palette. Um, or if you, for example, have a palette already and you just want to swap a few colors or um, bring some additional colors. So, um, as it stands, I have... What I have done here is I still have a few colors. I ignore this lady. She's painted with... Um, white nights but here on this side I have tried out some of my Daniel Smith now when I created my palette the first time round I'll just try and see um, I think it looked something like did I throw it out by any chance um, 
I don't think I have it anymore. So it kind of lacked blues. The only blue that I had in my palette. So these are the colours predominantly that I picked. Um, apart from these two and these two. So as you can see it's heavy on pinks. Um, and it just had one blue which I thought was not enough for me to mix everything. So um, I was recommended to go for a fallow blue and Daniel Smith has a fallow blue green tone and a fallow blue red tone and really when I swatched them it just felt like it was not I don't know, for me it was just standing out, it wasn't blending in with my colours that I was creating. And so I decided to go for a Prussian blue, which really works a lot better in the colour scheme. So that's how I picked my colours. There's still a few which I want to get. I want to get the Deep Scarlet, which is over here. It's out of stock at the moment on Jackson's Art, so I'm waiting for them. And um, I think the other colour I I am considering is uh, the Grenacridone Red, which is swatched here. I kind of wasn't sure about it, but this is Grenacridone Red here. As you can see, very deep, beautiful colour. Originally from the reds I wanted to get the Perilene Scarlet, which is a stunning colour. If I show you on the um, dot card, it's this colour. It's incredibly um, vibrant and it has that organic <coughs> texture to it. However, they only have it in 15ml tube and like I said, I don't want to have 15ml tubes. So I had to go for the Pearl Red. And I was in two minds about it, but I'm actually happy um, with it. So it kind of, like you see, it works really well with the rest. And having swatched it, so this is the Pearl Red here and Perilene Scarlet over here. Really there isn't that much difference except for this is a more warm toned red than this one. is. It has a little bit more pink in there. So that is it. it I still have five spaces to fill with the colours that I absolutely love, so I will take real good consideration and time in um, finishing this palette and bring it up to 24. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably finish off by explaining. So yeah, the, so I don't have gone ahead and I thought how am I going to arrange my palette because um, originally this is the colour scheme I was going for, Oops, sorry. Um, so I didn't want the classic arrangement being this. So you start with the yellows, oranges and you go sort of that way. I kind of felt like I wanted to do something different with my Daniel Smith palettes and I felt because I am custom making my own um, collection and my own palette I want to also have that creative um, input and, and just, you know, my own character in the palette by doing this sort of um, slightly different arrangement. So this top um, colour swatch here, you can see that basically these colours I was considering to get, but again um, I have, this is um, out of stock. And these two I decided against because they are just, especially this one is just standing out. It's not really, you know, it's kind of going outside of that colour scheme that I want to. And this Serpentine, so this is the Ultramarine Turquoise and Serpentine Genuine is a um, colour that's very beautiful. I have used it here on all of the rose petals. But I feel that it's not as vibrant, um, it, it lacks vibrancy. So, um, as it stands right now, uh, my palette is arranged in this way and I have decided to move these two greens, the rich green gold and the green gold down to this lane and start with them. So it starts 
with these two so these are shifting to this side and then in between moon glow and buff titanium i'm going to add that shadow violet that i talked about these two colors the moon glow and shadow violet are very beautiful they work in a very interesting way when they dry certain colors kind of come out um, really interesting and they're great shadow colors um, so yeah I hope this helps and this is like I said is is my own way of creating this palette and what makes me feel happy with it and um, I think I have mentioned everything so thank you for watching and see you soon